Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez and welcome to another episode of GCSAA Inside the Shop. In this next episode, we're going to be talking about batteries. Let's peel back the cover and show you exactly what's going on inside this thing. Okay, according to dictionary.com, they define a battery also called a galvanic battery or voltaic battery, a combination of two or more cells electrically connected to work together to produce electric energy. All right, so this is a lead acid battery or cell, and it's comprised of six individual cells producing at least 2.1 volts per cell. And when you stack six of these cells together, this is where you get your 12 volt battery. We're going to take one of these cells and kind of dissect into it and see what they're made out of, what's in here. All right, as we break it down, we're going to have three elements that comprise this one cell. The first one is the negative electrode. The negative electrode is made of spongy or porous lead. The lead is porous to facilitate the formation and dissolution of lead. And then here we have the positive electrode, which consists of lead oxides. And what insulates these two electrodes from each other is a fleece separator, which insulates the positive and negative plates, but it's also chemically permeable, which allows the electrode to saturate the material. And then next we have the battery acid. Now battery acid is a common name for sulfuric acid or electrolyte. Basically when a battery is being discharged or in use, the sulfuric acid in the electrolyte is being depleted. Now at the same time, sulfate from the acid is coating the plates and reducing the surface area over which the chemical reaction can take place. Charging reverses this process, driving the sulfates back into the acid. The electrolytes contains charged ions of sulfate and hydrogen. The sulfate ions are negatively charged and the hydrogen ions have a positive charge. Here's what happens when you turn on, a, let's say, a starter, you honk the horn. The sulfate ions move to the negative plates and give up their negative charge. The remaining sulfate combines with the active material on the plates to form lead sulfate. This reduces the strength of the electrolyte and the sulfate on the plates acts as an electrical insulator. All the extra electrons flow out of the negative side of the battery through the electrical component and back to the positive side of the battery. All right, being able to see how a battery works from the inside gives us a better understanding on its operation. For more information on batteries, I would refer you to the GCSAA Equipment Manager's Certificate Program, Electrical Systems Theory and Operation Booklet. I want to thank you for joining us here today on GCSAA Inside the Shop, where we're helping technicians one wrench at a time.